Welcome back to Greg Plays Games. Today I am kicking off a new series uh, that I uh, am planning to do every month and that is just a list of all of the games I was able to play this month or at least spent an extended uh, period of time playing. Hopefully this gives you guys some ideas of the games I like to play and maybe gives you guys uh, some ideas of games you might want to pick up. So let's start off with the first game uh, that's currently showing super smash brothers after sora was announced i was definitely excited to get back into playing smash brothers and spend a little bit of time playing as sora and nintendo uh, did a really good job with this new uh, and final character for Smash Bros. So super excited to have a reason to go back into Smash Bros. Um, I kind of will go through waves of wanting to play this game uh, and Sora being back in the game definitely gave me some added reason to play. So next up is Animal Crossing. Uh, Smash Bros and Animal Crossing I feel like are two games that at any point I could really pick up and play and enjoy. There's a lot of uh, replay value in those games and with the Direct being announced I was definitely excited and wanting to go back and play some Animal Crossing. Uh, I was going to make a video about the Direct, but honestly, I was so overwhelmed with all the announcements that Nintendo came out with, I genuinely didn't even know where to start for the video, but definitely super hype on the game. I think there's going to be hours of uh, playing time and the new content that Nintendo is adding, so definitely uh, if you're an Animal Crossing fan, let me know what you think about the new update. Are you going to play Animal Crossing again? I definitely will be. I actually also want to mention uh, a few PlayStation games that I played. Typically, um, you know, I got Nintendo games and PlayStation games that I'm playing at any given moment. And this month, uh, I definitely spent a lot of time playing Rocket League with my friends. Shout out Matthew, John, Logan, Carson. Shout out to the boys uh, for hopping on Rocket League with me. Uh, one of those games that I've I've spent a lot of time with and have uh, definitely gone back to play on many occasions. If you've never played Rocket League, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, there is definitely uh, a skill level involved that makes it enjoyable but uh once you get in and play it's it's very addictive a ton of fun super competitive um so it kind of satisfies my competitive itch uh, along with smash brothers but been playing a lot more rocket league and then i also spent some time playing dragon ball z kakarot which is a pretty mid video game but it was interesting to experience the dragon ball z story which i haven't revisited since i was was a little kid so definitely an interesting game uh beat em up style where you're just spamming the attack button definitely some skill involved but overall kind of a, a bleak open world game uh but you know you're primarily going to be playing that for the convoluted story that is dragon ball z and just over the top fighting so those were my two playstation games to note and then the next game is another Nintendo Switch game. So the next game I spent time playing was Hades. This was probably one of my most played games for the month just because of the replay value that this game has. Uh, you know, it's actually just endless, uh, really. There is a story to it, which I actually still haven't even beaten, and I don't even know how many hours I've put in this game, but definitely a fair amount. Uh, I'm kind of wanting to make a review on this game, but it is older, so I don't know if I'm going to. I was only just now able to get around to playing this, and it definitely lived up to a lot of the review hype of this being one of the better indie games you can play, and I definitely agree. Uh, I originally was kind of averse to the art style, but it really has grown on me since I've played it. Uh, I really enjoy the character interactions, I like uh, the main character you play as, the combat is really fun and addictive, 
uh, it's one of those games where you know you you go through one one run and then you just kind of want to do one more and and that just kind of compiles on top of each other so super high quality indie game definitely one of the better indie games i've played uh definitely going to need to be revisiting my indie game uh rankings uh especially now that i've played hades and i have also started playing hollow knight uh i'm not going to list it as an official game that i played this month because i i've only put in a few hours and and we're kind of towards the end of october here anyways so that might be on the november list and who knows maybe i'll make my updated indie review list as well but hades was uh, a game that i had a lot of fun playing this month and would definitely recommend if you haven't checked it out yet and lastly we have metroid dread i'm sure most of you fellow nintendo fanboys also probably picked up this game this month if you haven't um definitely worth playing uh maybe you're gonna wait till it goes on sale which is totally understandable because you're getting hit with the full 60 dollar retail obviously value is subjective uh, i had a lot of fun playing this game even at that price point so kind of up to you whether or not you think that that price point is justified for a 2d side scroller uh, but i definitely had fun with it and I've spent some time trying to go back and 100% this game, like go back and get all the collectibles. And it's definitely one of those games that uh, that you do want to do that with. So, so even though it was kind of a short story experience, it was still a ton of fun and there's still a lot of reason to go back and, and just do some exploring, especially with your power-ups towards the end of the game. You just feel so badass. Uh, so I did actually get an opportunity to review this game with an 8.75 review score which you know maybe to the unsuspecting viewer is an arbitrary number and hey what are reviews but arbitrary numbers anyway I definitely think that that is a uh, adequate ranking or review score for this game obviously because I gave it to it but uh, it just kind of seemed to align with what some of the other media platforms were giving it as well so pretty justified in a lot of ways. Uh, because I've only done a few reviews so definitely check that one out um, I actually didn't make a video last week so that video had some more breathing room to get some viewership because uh, that was a review that I put a decent amount of effort into if you've checked out that review let me know what you think of the game what score would you give it if you've played it um, my review definitely started out as being scripted and slowly descended into uh, talking out of my ass which is a theme across my videos so i will leave it at that uh kind of a shorter video this week thank you for checking it out let me know some of the games you played this month uh i definitely had some good ones uh and towards the end of the month i'm also starting some fun ones like hollow knight which will be in next month video so yeah definitely let me know what you guys have been playing and thank you for checking out this video see you guys next week